RShiny is a tool used to develop web applications and is commonly deployed in the use of creating dashboards, hosting static reports, and custom tooling. This chapter will cover a quick start example, the basic components of a Shiny application, and how to deploy your application once it's built. Let's create a new project containing a Shiny application. Projects allow you to bundle multiple files into a single workspace. You can create a new project via the Create New Project button towards the top left corner. So that's this button right here. And it will take a second to create that project. But once it does, it'll give you a new project wizard. We're gonna, since we're starting this project from scratch, let's choose the New Directory option. Now you can see there are many different types of projects that you can create, which aren't limited to Shiny applications. However, we're going to choose the Shiny application button. And then we are going to say test and create project. If you're following along in our studio, you should now have a sample application in your source pane. Uh, we'll go more in depth into what all of this is later on. For now, let's demo what this app looks like by pressing the Run App button. And after you run your app, you should get a pop-up that looks something like this. We can see that the application is using the Faithful dataset to create a histogram, which accepts user input through the use of a slider to adjust the number of bins presented in the histogram automatically. Now let's take a second to just discuss what the basic components of a Shiny application are. Shiny applications consist of two main components, a server function and a UI object. The server function will handle any logic you need to put into your application, while the UI object will create a user interface. Additionally, you will need to include the Shiny library and any other libraries that you use in your code. Let's break down everything that's happening in this sample application. So starting with libraries, we see that we require the Shiny library. The next thing we see in our code is the creation of our UI object. This is where the application layout is created. The first function is the fluid page function. This is probably one of the most common ways to create user interfaces and in applications. Layouts created with the fluid page methodology are organized into rows and columns and scale to fit varying browser sizes. The title panel function creates a panel with your title inside of it. In our case, the function is responsible for old faithful geyser data being displayed at the top of the page. Next, we see sidebar layout. This is essentially a pre-constructed layout, which consists of a sidebar panel and a main panel, which are creating using the sidebar panel and main panel functions, respectively. If you're working on a smaller screen, you might notice that your sidebar is actually located above your main panel rather than to the side. This is just because the size of your browser was small enough that they collapsed to be stacked on top of each other. If you were to increase the size of your browser, you would see the sidebar return to its original location. Inside of the sidebar panel function, right here, we have a function called slider input. The slider input function creates the component which allows the user to select the number of bins in our app. We can see this function gives the component the name bins, the title number of bins, a minimum input of 1, a maximum, maximum value of 50, and a default value of 30. The last component of our UI object is the main panel function. This main panel designates the section where our output plot will ultimately go as can be observed by the plot output function nested inside of it. This plot output function is given the name displot. This is done so that it can be referenced later in our server function. After we create the UI object, we'll need to create our server function. We'll pass two arguments into the function, input and output. The input argument allows us to access data from the user interface, while the output argument allows us to pass data back to the user interface. Inside the function, we reference the displot component of the UI by typing output dollar sign displot. After this, we pass a plot to the UI with the render plot function. 
finally, to bring these pieces together, we combine the UI and the server by using the shiny app function. Now that you've built an application, you can actually deploy it for the whole world to see. There are many ways to do this. However, probably the easiest way to get started is to create a free account with shinyapps.io. You'll begin by navigating to www.shinyapps.io, select the sign up button and follow the steps to create a free account. Once you create your account and see your dashboard, you can navigate to your tokens by selecting your name in the top right corner and choosing tokens from the drop down menu. Next, choose the green add token button to create a new token. Now that your token has been generated, select the blue show button to view it. You should now have a window that resembles the image you see on screen. Select the show secret button and then copy the code to your clipboard for use later. The next thing we'll need to do is to link our studio to your shinyapps.io account. You can do this by navigating back to our studio and choosing the drop down menu next to the publish button. From here, select the manage accounts option. You'll then get a window that resembles the image you see on screen. Choose the connect button to continue. Now you should see the options you see on screen. Choose shinyapps.io to continue. Now you'll have the opportunity to paste your token from your shinyapps.io account. After you do so, press the connect account button. Now that our studio is linked to your shinyapps.io account, you can press the publish button. You'll then get a window which allows you to name your app before publishing. Once you are satisfied with the name you choose, select publish. After a few moments, your browser should launch displaying your newly created shiny app.